Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma Review. So sorry I've been a little bit quiet, things have been a little bit crazy in the world of um, Rachel, but I am back with, it's gonna be a long video guys, I was gonna split this into two, but it was just an absolute disaster. So guys, I have got two hauls in one here. Now, today I went to Birmingham and I decided to go and have a look at the TK Maxx in Birmingham. Um, it's very hard for me to film walkthroughs just because I have a walking aid. I also had my trolley with me because I can't carry anything heavy. My mother-in-law was with me as well and she can't carry anything too heavy. So it was a bit manic today, guys. I actually went to TK Maxx first thing. There wasn't that much in. I decided not to buy everything first thing because I wanted to go and shop round. I did buy some stuff from Primark. Not a lot, but I will probably do that in another video alongside another thing that I'm going to get. Today is strictly TK Maxx Halloween. So guys, as we know, TK Maxx is now stocking items early this year. I know why, because I did ask them at the store in Wolverhampton. Basically, they said last year's um, delivery is now this year's delivery because it didn't come last year because of COVID and everything that was going on. So they're basically getting out last year's stock early and then obviously they're going to have this year's stock. So they've got two lots of stock. I don't know if this is the, the way for every store, but this is what I was told at the Wolverhampton store, Bentley Bridge store. So that's why they're getting things out early. And they've possibly got a few things that are probably from the year before or the year before that. So they're just putting out certain things. Now, guys, I will start with what I got at the Wolverhampton store. But first, I will let you have a look at the slight little walkthrough and see what you think. See you in a jiffy. TK Maxx, TK Maxx. Can you see? TK Maxx. So we're in Birmingham. Oh, look, the oh yeah. Anybody want your vaccine? They do it there. Right guys, so here we are. TK Maxx, first stop. And then we've got Debenhams, Bullring. It's outside of Bullring, isn't it? So let's see what we got.
Okay guys, so from the Wolverhampton one, and I have had a delivery and I will quickly talk about that as well. So in the Wolverhampton, there wasn't massive a lot of stuff. They had three little aisles, end aisles. That was pretty much it. I did walk around all of the store, but they didn't have anything Halloween around the rest of the store. So I did turn the camera off, but it literally was them three end aisles. And in that end aisles, there was a couple of these. I should have grabbed two because I always make the mistake of not grabbing both of them and then what happens then is i think oh i should have grabbed it i'll go back and get it and it's never there it's gone swooped gone but i grabbed this guys it was 9.99 and it's light up pumpkin i do need to put new batteries in but as you can see it lights up it's not a great lit up pumpkin like you'd get with obviously the the real ones are quite bright not as bright but I do like the whole aesthetic of it and it's got these spiders going on. It's quite, but it's like a resin pot, but probably a lot thicker than the other one, which I'm gonna show you at the end. We will talk about that one at the end. So I got that guys, that was 9.99. I've had it on my shelf for a few days. I actually got this as well at the Wolverhampton store. This one is 9.99. This one lights up with blue lights. I was looking for another one of these today guys because I really wanted two but if I find one along the way my wish list is based around skulls guys you know I collect skulls everything skulls and pumpkins or jack skeleton I love so my my wish list might be slightly different to everybody else's wish list because I'm basing mine around skulls and pumpkins but I'm so glad that this was there and I grabbed it so yeah i grabbed this dude 9.99 she is lovely i do like the fact that her eyes light up blue because i have a thing about the blue lights which i've got spotlights everywhere so yeah i grabbed her and i was really pleased with that i also grabbed this little pumpkin it was 5.99 it's like a villa velvet one um i would have liked to have got a black one of these possibly now i've not been back to wolverhampton for about two three weeks I am due to go back to Wolverhampton this Friday so I'll have a look on Friday and see if I can find any more. I'm going to go early in the morning so I don't like miss the morning delivery because they do say, they did say that they come every morning, they get a new delivery every morning so they get that out. So I'm going to have a look on Friday so I will do another walk through but hopefully there'll be more on the shelves this time. But yeah I grabbed that guys for 5 99 In that I also grabbed this, now there's a story with this one. I had two of these guys because they had two on the shelf so I thought I'll have one at each side it's a skeleton hand it's part of my aesthetic um, and it had a bat on it as well and I thought that's cute I like it so it lights up but my batteries are dying on it not the strongest of lights but when it's dark at night it's a bit brighter and it changes colour now like I said I had two of these the guy actually banged it on the counter as he went to put it in the bag and smashed the finger off and I had to say, um, you've kind of smashed it and put it in the bag and he didn't notice. And he was like, oh, shit. Do you want me to go back and get you another one? I went, well, no, I've got the two. I said I wanted two and now I'm only having one. But it, it, it happens. I didn't want it, so I just took the one. But I am on the hunt to find another one of these. So, guys, let me know if you find these in your store. This was $7.99, I think it was, guys. I have took the... The price of that i'm just going to put that here because it is quite it's quite delicate so alongside that guys i picked up three candles um i'm not one for really buying candles from um tk maxx i normally get my candles from home bargains i like the the ones that they have i tend to get them every year but i fancied i fancy some of these because I won't burn these guys, they're just going to purely be decoration. But it, these were 2 99 each and this is spun sugar. It smells like cake, very sweet and it's got a cobweb and bat and spider design on the lid and it's purple one and it's the, the DW, DW home ones. So I got a purple one, these were 2 99 I got the black one which were the quite a fair size but not the bigger ones they do these in the bigger if i see them in the bigger size i'll get them in the bigger size as well and i may just burn these ones and keep the bigger again 2.99 this one's graveyard smash 
I'm not too sure what the scent of that is. It still smells quite foody, quite sweet. So that was that one. I can smell a little bit of cinnamon in that, guys. And then the third one is a spooky spice. Now this one smells of cinnamon and a bit of, yeah, that's definitely a pumpkin spicy. Now they do a white one as well and I haven't seen that one yet. If I can find the white one that completes my set of the four, but again, this was 2 99 So I got all three of them candles and I was super happy with that. On that same um, shop, I also got this, which I know the Haunted Bat Lizzie has just picked this up. Now I've had this in my possession for three weeks now. As soon as I seen it, I had to have it. They had some of the Haunted House, which I've already got that one that plays music. I was gonna get another one, so I've got one on either side because I've got gloves on either end of my unit. But I seen this and I thought, I've got a, a print of a ghost and it goes really nice with my print. And this was $9.99, guys. I left the price on with that one. And as you know, I love globes. All last year, it was all about the globes. Um, I think this year, it's still going to be about the globes. Um, as many as I can get, really. But I'm going to space it out. I've spent a lot this month. I will tell you roughly how much I've spent at the end of this video. Just on these two hauls that I've done. So I'm just going to put that one down there. Now, guys, I'll save this to last. Because I'll explain what happened with this. Now, I've got two... Uh, three bags of stuff that I've got today and these are from the Birmingham store which was the bull ring um, as you've seen it wasn't that great either but they did have a better choice than the Wolverhampton store did so I was happy about that and I did grab a fair few things guys so let's get straight into it because I don't want to keep you too long so like I said if it's a school I'm happy and I in this last year and I tried to get it and I didn't and I regretted it so it's got the three skulls and then you've got the eyeball in the middle it doesn't play music or anything it's purely decoration and this one was 12.99 a little bit more expensive than the other ones that I got last year although my musical ones I think were 12.99 this one is purely decoration but it's quite heavy this guys um, looking at this I didn't know if there was supposed to be a third hand, maybe. You guys, if you know. I don't think there was, because then you wouldn't see the eyeball. But I do like this. And for $12.99, I was super happy about it. So that is another globe to add to my ever-growing. I think I've got 12, maybe 13 globes up to now. So I'm happy with that. Um, I don't have the, all the receipts, but I do remember what some of them cost. So we can refer back to it. Now I got this as well guys because not last year, the year before I got the spell books from um, TK Maxx and I wanted to complete the set. I have noticed they've got the skull one again on the spell book. I've got that in my basket on the online. I may order that and go and pick it up on Friday. But I've seen this and I thought it matches my other skull book which is up there. I may show you briefly at the end just to rejog your memory. But this one lights up too, which you're probably not going to be able to see because there's too much of light. But I'll try and show you at the end what this looks like and what everything else looks like on the shelf. This, guys, was $7.99 and it shows you at the bottom that it lights up. And I was happy with that because I'm just trying to complete my set that I started last year and the year before. And it's taken me a while to kind of finish this set. Oh, by the way, guys, I also got this in the Wolverhampton store which was the Skull um, Hurricane candle holder. I paid 4 99 for this, guys. Now, there was only one of these, and I wanted two because I'm a bit of a sucker when it comes to matching. I would have liked the matching one, but they only had one in, which I was a little bit disappointed about, but never mind. But I got that one anyway. Now, in the Birmingham store, I did notice this. And I don't know if it's the same size. No, it's a size down, actually. Oh, that's a shame. I thought it was the same size. I wanted it to go next to it. Raven or Crow being Ben, because he's obsessed with ravens and crows. As I'm obsessed with skulls. So I got that for, like, mean him and hers kind of thing. Let's take the price off. But, yeah, 3 99 that one was, guys. And that one was 4 99 But if I do see another one of these on my travels, I probably will still grab another one of them. 
that size. They have a small one, which is a spider. I'm not into spiders, as you know, I hate spiders, but I have tolerated it on that pumpkin and a few other things. But yeah, that was that that I got today. I also, let's, let's keep going on for today's stuff. Right, so I wasn't planning on getting any kind of like plates or bowls or cups or anything because I have got so much stuff already that I didn't really want to go down that route. But after watching um, Scabby13, Craig and Jen, I've been obsessed watching, obviously in the Haunted Bat as well, I've been watching their grabs and their finds and I'm just so filled with envy because I wish I was close to shops like that that I could go and have a look. But it's amazing what they've grabbed and oh, their home is amazing. I can't wait for Craig to show his toy room because as you know, I love Jack Skeleton, but he is purely obsessed with Jack Skeleton. And I'm just like, oh, oh. I'd be like a kid in a candy shop in that toy room. I'd be like, oh, let me kind of have a look at that. Can I hold it, can I hold it? But they've been grabbing some amazing things. So if you want to go and check out Scabby13, their channel is amazing. I will link it down below alongside the Haunted Bat because Lizzie does lots of Halloween lead ups as well. As well as Spooky um, Crafter, I think she's changed her name again, Spooky Geek, keep changing her name, Angela. Um, I will link everybody that's associated with the Halloween haunting in the description box. Right, moving on swiftly. So I got some plates today. I am not too happy with this one, guys, because it seems to have, I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, but it looks like it's lost the, but I can't see how because it doesn't look like it's coming off. It, so it must be the actual design, but it looks like it's missing the cobweb design there. And this is made in Portugal and it says microwave and dishwasher safe, which is good because I've got a dishwasher and I've got a microwave. So I will use these in both. These are going to be like what I'm going to put away for my new house. Um, so I won't be using these now. I'm going to be packing them away. But I've got another two. So me and Ben have got one each and Zach's got the cobweb one. So I'm happy with that. So I got them three. These are $2.99 each, guys. So six pound for three plates. Not bad. I'm happy with that. And then I got two bowls because they're the only two they had. I wanted to get the cobweb bowl as well for Zach. But unfortunately, they didn't have any. They had one with witch's boots, but I know that with Zach being artistic, he wouldn't have liked that. He would have wanted the matching. So I got mine and Ben's bowl anyway, which are two ninety nine each. When I go to the Wolverhampton store, if I do find the cobweb bowl, I will get that for Zach. And then the three of us have got matching plates and bowls for whatever breakfast time, dinner time. But I did get a cup. I wasn't planning on getting any more cups, guys, because I've got lots of cups. I don't collect cups, but I do have a lot of cups from Halloween and Killstar and so forth. But this one is the Cambridge Halloween glass mug. Now, I've seen loads of these. At first, I thought this was plastic, guys, but it is glass. They had a few different versions of these. They were $5.99. I just went for the Sugar Skull one. I will probably get the others along the way it's nowhere near halloween yet we've got a long way to go i can't have too much stuff because i'm packing to move at the minute so i don't want to be giving myself too many globes because i will start to have a panic attack if any of these break so there is a few more globes i want to get but i won't be going mad this year of globes i'll probably wait till i've moved and maybe next year i can go crazy like scary 13 are doing <laughs> and then I've got somewhere to put them. But at the minute, my glass cabinets have to go away with all my Ann Stokes in. I've already packed all my skulls in my school unit and I've got all my globes here. My front room's still pretty packed with stuff. So yeah, I got that just to go with my lattes because I absolutely love them. Um, is that it for that bag? Yeah, I've got my receipts in here, guys. Now, um, I've got a couple of receipts because I went and then I went back, back and forth, back and forth. But I paid for an extra bag because the bags kept snap, kept snapping. Right, okay, I've got more stuff here. So then I grabbed 
one of these candles which was 6 99 and this is the dw home spooky pumpkin um and it's a spooky pumpkin scent mm. smells very much like the pumpkin one in that pretty much the same but i wanted that because it had a skull on the top so it was on my wish list to grab one of them i'm not after all the ones that like um jen and craig have got i love candles but i used to be a, i am still a yankee candle collector so i try not to get too many candles to collect because i try and buy to burn now but i won't burn any of these i'll only burn the cheaper candles like the ones i get from home bargains i'll probably get about eight of them to be honest with you i am ready as soon as they come out i will go and buy them but this one was 6.99 but I had to have it as part of my collectors. Obviously, when I get the white one of them, I'll have the full set. I don't know if they've got different ones of these. If I do find some along the way, I will get them. Right, as well as that, guys, I thought I'd pick up these because they were so goddamn cute. They had ghosty ones, and I was like, hmm, do I get the ghost ones? But no, I like these better. These was the Haunted House, and it's a set of two shakers, salt and pepper. And these were 3 99 I thought that was really good. They did have like the, um, do you know, the things to put around the serviettes. I may get them nearer the time. I want the bats. They had them there today, but I was like, we don't really do a lot of dinner parties. But when we move, we may do, because as you know, we're packing away at the minute to move. Uh, we're going south so i really want to make sure that everything's packed nicely i've already packed most of my stuff away living room i'm doing last but i thought these can go away with the plates anything i buy now for the new house i'll be putting away but they were really really nice i may even grab this these this ghosty ones as well guys so that was that and then i seen these and i was like well i can't resist so i spotted these as i was going to the tills and i thought there were tea towels and i thought that's quite pricey for tea towels but upon looking i thought oh no it's two hand towels and two wash towels for 9.99 and these are quite thick as well guys and i was like well that is really really reasonable for 9.99 i love things like this right so they are they're all oh i pulled the pumpkin rachel I've got to be careful, I don't wreck it. Okay, so there's two. Oh, they were attached together. I don't want to wreck it. Right. Okay, so they're, they're two face towels, basically, guys. No, oh, I like them. $9.99. I'm going to put these away for the new house as well because we're going to be having... The house we're moving to is only a temporary house. And we're only going to be in that house for about 12 months. And then we're going to move to our land. We're actually saving for our land at the minute. There is a couple of pulls on this guy, so I will. I won't pull it. I'll get the scissors and just cut that. But $9.99 and they're reversible. So I thought they were all right. They did have quite a lot of them in, guys. I think I did film a little bit of that. But for $9.99 for two, his and hers, we're happy with that. I will tell you the total because I went in three times. Now, guys... I am looking for the grey pumpkin blanket for my bedroom. It's all grey and it's got the pumpkins on. Everybody's grabbed that. It's $9.99. I really want it. And I'm I'm just hoping that when I go to Wolverhampton on Friday, they have it. If they don't have it there on Friday, I may see if anyone can grab it, may, and I'll pay for the postage. So if anybody wants to grab me the grey with the pumpkins on, it won't be this month I get paid. Now it'll be next month. But if you want to grab it me and save it me, I'll pay for the postage. But I grabbed this one because, again, you know I like skulls. This is the well-dressed home and it's the oversized decorative throw. And it's 60 by 70 inch. And I think these fit double beds. I've got a king size bed. But these are for downstairs, guys. As you can see at the minute, I've got my Killstar blanket down here now because I've packed my bedroom away. I do have my Jack Skeleton blanket on my couch upstairs. But I wanted a blanket for each sofa matching our decor because we're going completely black and white in our new home. All gothic, all coffins, all that kind of thing. So I wanted two skull blankets as well as the grey one. So I did 
go with the intentions of spending £30 on blankets today. But I got this one. I will show you at the end what it looks like out because I'm dying to pull it out. But that was £9.99, guys. I got that first thing this morning. I didn't buy anything else. I just got that blanket because I knew that they'd get snatched up. But when I come back in the afternoon, they still had this one on the shelf. So I thought, bugger it, I'm going to grab it. So I might put this one in my bedroom and grab another black one and get the grey pumpkin one for my couch upstairs but I've seen this and this was 9 99 as well and it, again it's from the same company well dressed home and I just thought I like I like the, the grey and the pink with this my bedroom's going to be like grey and white with a bit of black and white thrown in there so yeah I like this I may even put a little bit of pink in my bedroom I've never been one for pink but I like the contrast of grey and pink together so I may just do that so that was it guys so that was everything that i got now let me just oh part of my son's toys are in here I'll just i've actually been to the entertainer today guys and i've been into the disney shop they had no sally dolls left i was so off but i'm gonna order it online and just get it delivered it might be easier right so i've got so many thingies here so 10 pound 19 10 pound 20 that's what I paid for the first blanket, which was this morning. And then I went back this afternoon and I got all that stuff, which came to £58.9. That was to do with the kitchenware, the throw, one throw, one dining, dining, so all the dinner one, the decorative glass, um, and season also one of the ornaments. And then I've got another receipt. I also bought the two other things separate because i wanted to pay cash for them and they came to somewhat like 18 pound so all together 58 68 70 i spent about 86 pound in tk max today which is quite pricey i know but i wanted to do that and then the other time i think i spent 50 pound so in, in two months i've spent that so it's not too bad I do still want to get some more stuff on Friday, but after that, I won't be buying it again until next month. I will just grab a few bits and pieces, whatever comes out. A lot of the stuff I've seen is not really my thing. I don't like the black skulls with the snakes going through them. Not my thing. I don't like anything with snakes on, so I won't buy anything like that. But there is a few things I want. I want to get another one of them skeletons, another one of the um, hand thing the grey blanket and probably a few more globes and I'm happy with that. I want to get some more of the big plates as well and the pasta dishes so I will be concentrating on that as well. But that is it guys, before I wrap it up let's talk about this. So Ben bought me this online because I had a look online and I thought well it's not glass, it's not a globe. If you remember last year I had a lot of issues when it comes to the globe but I thought oh I'll get this. It was $12.99 guys and I paid $3.99 shipping from, um, I think it was, who delivered it? DPD I think it was. So it arrived and I was super stoked about it. I was pulled it out, it all looked okay. I didn't know if anything was missing, although somebody said there's something missing. I don't know what, but they've said something's missing. I will check what it is. But upon opening it, guys, it was smashed to smithereens at the back and I didn't notice until I started hearing it. It's still got bits inside it. I've just super glued this bit on, but it's like a jigsaw puzzle and I'm, there's no way in the world I'm gonna be able to fix all that. I got a full refund on the day that this arrived, so I did get my money back, guys, and I got my shipping fee back. So I've kept it anyway. It does still work. But not very well. Um, I had to keep changing the batteries until they actually worked. But they're not working great. But yeah, there you go. But I did get my money back. But I just wish TK Maxx would wrap their items. The lady today was just putting everything in a bag. And I said, oh, stop. <laughs> I said, can you wrap it all with paper? I said, I've got to transport this back home. And I've got a, I've got a walking aid. And I've got a, a, you know, a trolley. And she went, oh, yeah, sorry. So she did wrap it up took about 15 minutes but she did wrap it up in the end but yeah that is my first haul two in one hauls and one home delivery sorry that took up too much of your time guys i will show you at the end what it all looks like follow me again if you want to come back and see more i will be doing more it won't be until 
either I might have another haul after this guys but then it's going to be next month and I will do August and then I will do so this is the August July August because pretty much I got them in July July and August I'll have one more haul after this guys and then it will be probably October then September yeah probably September then and then it'll be the October so probably about another five hauls in all guys so if you want to see them hauls stick with me hit the notification bell so you know when I upload I have got some other videos coming up guys like Killstar um, Simply B Primark so and Lamoda so if you want to see them videos stick with me all right guys take care stay to the end and I'll show you what all this looks like on the shelf all lit up all right take care and I'll see you in the next one bye for now subscribe button hit the notification bell and hit that like button if you like this video because it helps me out and my channel take care guys and i'll see you on my next one bye for now